Hey everyone, so I just realized that after speaking for a majority of about maybe a few minutes, my mic was off. <laughs> my mic was muted. Uh, so anyway, here we go. So this is me getting back into Disney Infinity 3.0. Uh, the last version that I played was Disney Infinity, uh, the first one, 1.0. Um, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, however, I did get really, really bored really quickly with it. Um, Disney Infinity 3.0 has been a blast to play. I've been playing it for roughly about a week now, non-stop. I mean, I don't have many characters, and that's fine. Um, I've actually been using one particular character pretty frequently, uh, aside from playing the play sets. But I've been only playing one character um, out of all the ones that I've recently picked up from trying to recollect everything again. Um, the character that I am playing today will be Maleficent from the movie Maleficent. Uh, she seems to be one of my favorite characters to play thus far, um, mainly because, well, I, I think she's really kind of badass. Pardon the, the language there. But one of her greatest abilities is her being able to fly, which is awesome. I know that the Star Wars characters, the Jedi, such as Anakin, Yoda, um, and a, I believe Ahsoka can as well, uh, have the ability of doing the force jump, which also allows them to boost up in the air pretty pretty high and, and catch some distance that way. Um, but I have to admit, my favorite character to play at the moment has been Maleficent, with her flying ability, and her attacks are okay. I, I prefer using her as more of my creativity character mainly because of her ability to be able to fly and hover in the air and I get a pretty decent view of what's going on on the ground as I'm building stuff. Um, I don't All right. So anyway, um, okay, it's still there, awesome. Um, all right, so just kind of fooling around here with my Xbox One controller and controls here. Uh, so Disney Infinity, right now it's set at the toy box stage. Um, so there's main menu, you get your toy box, community content, concept galleries, Disney Infinity collection, TV toy, uh, toy box TV, excuse me, uh, which I've just completely caught up to where I'm supposed to be. Fortunately, there isn't that many thus far. Um, but they've been really interesting to watch. They're very informative as well. Um, I'm liking the fact that they've adding, they're have they adding challenges and stuff. So that's something new to me. Um, I know I don't know what's been around since 2.0. I know that the inclusion of doors and interior, I guess, has been around since... Um, for a while, uh, I guess, since 2.0. Um, but it's kind of new to me, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I've been playing around quite a bit, and I've got a decent area started. Um, I guess there, there's a lot that I still need to learn. Uh, and I mean, there's like a ton. Uh, I kind of equate the the linking system for linking toys together to make them do stuff and whatnot to redstone building in Minecraft, which I think I have quite a few videos right now, or a couple videos so far on YouTube, of my Minecraft uh, tutorials going over the latest updates, which, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's interesting to, to see that after uh, after doing the tutorials, they completely eliminated one part of it, and then I'm like, what? <laughs> but anyway, we're not talking Minecraft today, we're talking Disney Infinity for the moment. Um, so I, I'm excited. I I was really debating on whether or not I wanted to get it because of the last experience with with the first one, and then I heard that 2.0 didn't do as well. It was, it was a little better, but it could be a lot better, and I'm like, okay, I'm kind of leery. I didn't get 2.0. I ended up giving away my 1.0 series, um, and I ended up, because it's Star Wars, and I'm a huge Star Wars fanatic, I ended up picking up Disney Infinity 3.0 for the Star Wars aspect. Um, and then was like, oh, there's like so much to do. There's like I didn't even touch any of the story until like a couple of days ago, um, for the uh, Twilight, um, the Twilight pack. Um, I forget the actual name off the top of my head, but um, yeah, I didn't actually get to doing the story mode that comes with the starter pack up until a couple of days ago, and I've had it for about a week. Um, 
And that was just me going over all the new features, all the new stuff that you can do, uh, the Toy Box Hub, um, which is, I believe, what they said was new to Infinity 2.0, which is a lot of fun. It's very, you know, here's what you do, this is how you do things, which is, which is awesome. They've incorporated a planting system and gardening uh, for the sidekicks, which is amazing. Um, back in 1.0, they didn't have sidekicks, or from what I remember, they didn't have the sidekicks that you could have follow you around, you couldn't outfit them, and you couldn't make them do stuff. They've done a whole lot more with that, so it's awesome. Um, it's a lot of fun. I've, I've been just having a blast trying to just discover new things with this. It's been a blast. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and start getting into what I'm going to be doing here today. Um, I just felt like coming on to broadcast a little bit of my experience here, um, show you a little bit of what I've accomplished thus far, um, explain a little bit of what I plan on doing, um, get some ideas from everybody. Uh, I'll probably post the video to YouTube as well, um, see what everyone thinks. So anyway, um, pardon, I don't have a way of editing the video, so it's I'm going to end up, you're going to see the load times, which I think that's my biggest downside with this, is that the load times can be a bit slow. Um, and hopefully my Xbox does decide to glitch on me like it has been every other time I played this. Alright, so, uh, Toy Box Hub. So, here's a bit look at what the Toy Box Hub looks like. Um, like I said, it's one of the things I really enjoy about the Toy Box Hub, um, about the the whole series in general, the, the toy box basically goes step by step as to, okay, this is how you do this, with a few tutorials that allow you to build up credits to earn and purchase toys and whatnot. Um, I think one thing I'm really, really excited about is the fact that they took away the randomized uh, toy collector. Because uh, you can, there's, I mean, there is the randomized toy thing where you can uh, walk over the buttons and then it'll drop out a canister and then you can use the canister to import toys that you possibly haven't unlocked yet, um, which is awesome and a lot of fun. Um, however, the there was a, a randomized toy collector uh, in the first one where it would do almost like uh, you, you'd pick different cards and whatever was behind the card you'd get. Almost like memory game, only whatever was behind that specific card was what you purchased for uh, or unlocked for um, for toys to build with. Which was kind of fun and also kind of a pain because if there was something specific that you wanted, you were kind of having to cross your fingers and hope you got it. But um, this way, it's it's a lot more easier. You have the credits. You can just go in and figure out what you want, purchase it. Um, I've been able to do that to actually make some of my worlds a little bit better. Um, as I can tell, as I, as I said before, the wait times are a bit slow. Um, Stalking my little cottage here. And find out what I do with my remote here because I don't want to blast you guys with sound from the game plus the game, uh, game sound coming from my TV here. Alright. Oh yeah, I have to fix it Felix Sky at the moment here. Which is pretty good. I think that's one of my favorites thus far. Um, to find a point of interest, follow the highlighted path. Oh yeah, and, and throughout the toy box, he talks constantly, so just kind of like I end up having to ignore him after a while because I've heard him like so many times. So anyway, just to go over briefly, the center here is where uh, you can either create a new toy box, load load uh, load toy boxes that you've already been working on, um, and you talk to the um, Mickey from Fantasia, he's wearing the, the magic cap and everything. Um, a surprise gift has appeared. Surprise gifts will appear all throughout the toy box, uh, the toy box hub. Um, finding them is a is a challenge. I have to admit, there's been a few that I haven't been able to locate. In fact, there's like one now that they just said had arrived. Plus, there was one before I left the the hub the last time I played, um, which I hadn't been able to find yet. Um, so this area right here that I'm in is the main street. Um, and uh, I'm being attacked. Oh, 
And those guys don't unlock or don't start attacking you until after you've unlocked the combat area, which is actually right there. Uh, that looks like the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas area. Oh wow, there's a lot of big bats here. Okay, so I'm just going to fly out of the way here. So yeah, this is this is Main Street. This is uh, where you get an overview of the different playsets that are are out and are going to be coming out, which there are some that I'm extremely excited about. Um, there's the Twilight of the Republic. Ever dreamed of being a Jedi Knight? Which here, Protect which she's the explaining right now. In the Star Wars Twilight of the Republic playset. All right, and that's the. Uh, that's the one for Inside Out. I do have it, however, I haven't completed the story mode yet. So I think that when they hop up and start spinning around, I think that's uh, when you complete the the story mode. So far, I've completed it on Anakin alone. I, I'll need to go back through and complete it with Ahsoka. And, wow, screen shaking, which means that there's like a... Wow, there's so many bad guys right now. Holy cow. Dealing with this guy right here. Taking a while to take down. Alright, there we go. Alright, so yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> once I think once you complete the different playsets, uh, they'll they'll actually glow and start spinning. Uh, this is for the the one with Luke and Leia, um, Rise of the I, I've just been calling it Rise. Uh, then this is actually there's other different ones coming out, uh, such as the Marvel Battlegrounds pack, which is coming out. Uh, not entirely sure when. I want to say closer to December. Um, this one right here is, was one that was hinting at a uh, the Star Wars Awakens playset, which should be coming out at some point, which will be interesting. Um, and then you got the Toy Box Takeover, which I believe just released as of yesterday. Was there was its release date? And then the uh, Toy Box Speedway, which also released at the same time uh, yesterday. Um, so those are going to be a lot of fun. The El Capitan Theater, which you can go and view the Toy Box TV. Plus you can play different uh, areas or toy boxes that other people have made um, and see what other ones are going to be coming out soon for, for being able to be played. Or you can, and you can also download uh, toy boxes as well from there. Um, Scrooge McDuck's, is, he's like your toy box store. So you can talk to him and uh, purchase stuff. Uh, Flynn's Arcade, this area will take you to a randomly determined toy box with other people, so you can play multiplayer with other people. And then of course you have the castle in the background, the Ewok Village, which will come after completing the first part of this course, which is the, um, I believe it's the exploration one where they do a whole lot of, it's a challenge area, there's different challenges that you can go through in this portal once you complete it as well. Um, and it's like, it's the castle from Brave, I, I'm assuming. Um, it's built like it anyway. You can go and run through that that course and then the Ewok village pops up and then it'll give you a task of finding all these different uh, canisters, which is awesome. Uh, great way to build up some, some money, per se, to get toys unlocked. Uh, I think my favorite thing about the whole thing right here is going to be right here. Um, under the green section of the, the circle here. And this is the planting area, uh, or like the gardening area of of Disney Infinity, which you can use your sidekicks to plant crops and you can harvest them and then you can feed them to build up their, their stats. Um, I found that pretty interesting and a lot of fun. Um, there's a couple of different levels that you can do to get acquainted with all the different parts of sidekicks right through here. Including, um, hopefully once it pops up here, it'll. There we go. Uh, Sidekick Square One, which is your basic tutorial about sidekicks and and everything about them. 
plotting for plants is where it talks about the planting and everything, which is a lot of which is a lot of fun and, a, and really interesting, and you can get a lot of different things from that one too. Uh, it's one you, that you can go back and um, do a lot with. And this part here, which I actually did my very first time um, entering the toy hub, was the my interior, and that kind of made me go, "Whoa, that's pretty awesome!" Uh, where you can build the inside of of a house. And I'm like, oh, that's actually really cool. And then part of the reason why I wanted to show everyone that and talk about that for a little bit was because what I'm planning on doing with my little area that I'm starting, or my toy box that I'm, I've been working on, is I'm making almost like a RPG type of theme area, uh, toy box. I'm just going to go into my saves here. And I was testing a few things. I have one of the Tron areas that I was playing at one point. And I was just testing out a few things. I got a few downloaded uh, toy boxes. Some are from the uh, Toy Box Summit. But I'm anxious to try out. Alright. Looks like it didn't save my last save, which it kind of glitched on me as I was trying to load in my Twitch. Um, and it was saying, hey, connect your base. And I'm like, well, my base is already connected. I unplugged it, plugged it back in, and still said connect your base. So I'm like, okay. Types of different things that I've been running into. I'm not sure if it's just my Xbox or if it's my Xbox and the game. Um, I noticed that I've had a few glitches happening, which some for, the, for pretty good, some for not so good. <laughs> I think the one that's not so good was that um, in the middle of gameplay while just playing in the toy box, my console my controller and yeah everything on my system just shut down and i was like oh okay that's that's interesting so i haven't really figured out the cause of that yet i'm wondering if it's my system like it's my system that because i've got a bunch of stuff on my system as it is now for um for games that are loaded onto the hard drive so i'm thinking that it might have to do with that i might have to get like an external to put the majority of my games on but anyway and I noticed that it didn't change my sky after I had changed it. That's all right. Oh, wow. So, yeah, this is definitely... It definitely didn't save. Okay. What have we here? So, to give you a brief tour of the area, it's not as filled in as it's going to be eventually. Uh, I have the castle there. I have my little gardening area right there. My little town center, which is where everyone will spawn. And then I have my cottage. And just a little while ago, I got done editing this. So I built in the garage and whatnot. I think I'm actually liking it without the garage stuff there. So I might just leave it at that. Just, this might be a little sort of a blessing of disguise. But um, oh, wow, it still has those doors there. Wow. OK. After watching a brief tutorial to figure out how I was going to do this, how I was going to make this work, I then discovered that these doors will only take you to the my interior area, which is the same cottage that I was at beforehand um, in the toy box hub. Hub, excuse me. Um, so it'll take you to that particular one and only that one. There's not really much you can do with that besides besides that. Um, so I'm gonna bring up my wand here, and I'm gonna get rid of that. And I will put in. Oh yeah, I want to get rid of that because I was trying to test out shops back along. So I was trying to use the my interiors, but apparently those aren't gonna work. But that's okay. So now that I know what I'm actually doing, I'll be able to set that up. I just got to work on like actually getting a person to be standing behind a counter and being able to sell stuff, which would be pretty awesome. So anyway. So yeah, this is my little cottage here. I started to put in a racetrack. It's going to get bigger. Um, as you can tell, I've got that set up for where I want those to go. But yeah, so far it's very, very basic. Um, I wanted to have like a cottage and then a farm right there or close by. That way it's, oh, if I need to, you know, go and make get stuff for, for my sidekicks, I can just do that there. And I'm pretty sure that it didn't save the interior that I had made earlier. So the doors to make make interiors to go in or to go into interiors from your world or toy box 
world like I've got here. Um, get that out of the way. Right there. Because you're going to need these toy box doors. Go ahead and change the color to my favorite color, purple. And, give it some time. and now I'm going to set that up. And let's see if it's there. Nope, it's not. Okay. So, create a new interior. Kind of label it DJ's Cottage. And I'll just make that one. Just no genre. Just it's just gonna be like my little home away from home. Or my home on the toy box here anyway. Alright, so yeah, I'm 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 gonna say that for all the like all the different things you can do with Disney Infinity, I mean, and as they say, the 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 limits are pretty much endless as to what you can do. If you can if you can think it up, you can probably do it. Um, for me, it's just figuring out how to go about doing all of that. Because doing the whole linking thing, I had to I had to do some research on that because that's to me is like the equivalent of placing together Mindstone, uh, not Mindstone. Uh, redstone constructions in Minecraft. I'm really bad at it and it takes me a while to learn the different recipes or like the different layouts of how to go about doing all of that. So I don't know why I walked all the way over to my gardening area but, but anyway. So now that that's been set up for going to a brand new cottage interior or to an interior anyway um, I'll just go ahead and go ahead and go into the new interior here. Don't mind the weight. <laughs> like I said, I think that's one of... Oh, that's not bad. Alright. I think I'm actually going to change the... the location that I spawn in. Ah, oh, there we go. Locator. Not letting me turn it around. That's strange. And usually it'll allow you to rotate it, but it's not allowing me to rotate it. It's, it's a little odd. But anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and make that purple. Let me go up and down, but it won't let me rotate it. That's weird. Okay. Although it did change, like, the direction it was... There we go. That's strange. It actually, I actually had to move my character to change the... the direction of the... of the locator. That's, that's odd. Okay. Like I said, it's it's been kind of really wonky with with me and my, my system here. It's I'm not sure how everybody else um how everybody else systems are working with Disney Infinity, but I know mine's been pretty wonky. It'll glitch every now and then. Properties. I'm just gonna do a door destination tag as one. And then I can do that on the outside as well. Uh, I need to set this one up. Okay. 
Chinese Park. And then I'll have to put a locator tag here as well, a locator on the other side as well. It's set to go out there, awesome. Everything looks pretty good. So I'll take away my wand and I won't see the locator anymore. All right, so this is gonna be like the start of my little, my home here. Let's go back to the other toy box here. See, I don't get that. I mean, I've I've un I've used only the toys that I've unlocked in order to build this. So that's strange. Either that, or it's talking about the Tomorrowland stuff, but I I have the discs for it. And use the discs, so I'm not sure why it's why it's acting like that. That's strange. But then again, with Disney Infinity so far, I've come to expect kind of that kind of stuff. So, all right, so I'm going to place. A locator. I'm trying to go this way. All right. All right. So it's going to allow me to to do the zoom out here now, just to find out where. Okay, I see where the arrow is pointing now. Okay. Place that there. And I'm gonna label that one one for this world. Now that I've got that all set up, so that now I can actually go into my cottage and whatnot. That's awesome. That's set up exactly how I was hoping it would be. Sweet. Let's see, I, I was playing around with different things with the toy box and the different advanced toys. And oh yeah, I forgot to get rid of those because I got rid of those last time. But I was going to have like two chests here where you can find special stuff here. But I couldn't seem to get them to function, so I was like, okay, I have to do more research on that. Again, it's like for me with the whole connecting the toys and whatnot just all the options and whatnot, it's just, it's almost like redstone to me, so I'm like, okay, so definitely more research is needed for that kind of stuff, but it'll be a lot of fun to learn and discover and figure all that stuff out, and then, and hopefully I will become a little more of a, instead of a novice, I'll be more of an amateur at it, so. At that point, the possibilities will be literally endless. Um, I just realized all this time my uh, my little sidekick that I had in the beginning when I was first playing around with this stuff earlier has disappeared. Let me see if I can oh, wrong menu there. Where did he go? There he is. I've got a little Wookiee friend. Yay! No, I don't want that menu. I think the majority of 
playing this, I've spent a lot of time pressing the wrong buttons. It's like, I want specific menu, and I end up pressing the wrong menu for, for different ones. Alright, so I need my... Yeah, I'll plant some carrots here. So I'll have him get to town working on planting stuff. Uh, yeah, wrong menu once again. And I'm looking for Darkwing Duck because he has my watering can. Here we are. All right. So once he gets finished planting all of those items, I'll send him to go and. All right. So he's gonna go ahead and. I think the one thing I don't like about the sidekicks is that you can only have one of them at a time, which I think would be awesome if you can have like multiple and then set them up for doing different tasks that you want. All right, so I think I'm getting closer to the time where I want to actually start building storefronts, like a shopping area. Uh, the fantasy stuff. There we go. Alright, so let's see. a little too <laughs> from one color to the next. Um, even that I think is... Uh, let's see. Oh, that's the fire station. Fire station there. Pathways here first.
those out, put that one there. Yeah, actually I like that a lot better.
managed to get to the wrong area. There we are.
Apparently I am moving way too fast for <laughs> Disney Infinity to keep up with me here. Alright. So basically I'm going ahead and making all of these tiles look like red brick. So it gives it almost like a downtown kind of feel.
No. I still only get rid of that one. go now we've got the town set up and on a few of these I'm gonna incorporate some of those doors and add in some some shops along the way which I think that's gonna be a lot of fun to do once I get it all set up anyway sorry this is supposed to be a shop however the door doesn't look like a door. It does look like a door for these guys, but there's nothing for me to throw them into. So I might be able to create a door for that one with uh, using a sidekick door. That would be a lot of fun. One thing I do want to check out really quickly here. That's what I thought. So I was thinking it would be great to have that here. Well, maybe if I pull the side ones back a little bit, I might be able to do that. not what I wanted to do. Okay. Let's go here. And... because that's where my characters are. Or one of my characters, I think. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Alright, so now that I actually have the Nice Landers Hotel here from Wreck-It Ralph, make my way all the way up here. And it looks like there is a place for a door, which would be awesome. I'm going to push that back away so that I can hmm. 
I think I'll do that. That way I can add the spot for, for like the little mud pile that or mud puddle that Ralph always gets dropped into. So it looks like I'm going to have to go and change out all of those. I, Which is like actually isn't going to be that hard considering that since the majority of them I haven't done anything to them. I can just go ahead and switch to this mode and I'm just going to take them all out. Just gotta make sure that they're in the exact same position as the ones I want them to be in. And perfect.
Alright, so I'm going to add some decorative pieces here along the way.
All right. All right, so, so far I've got my little Wreck-It Ralph scenario up here. We got my town going. And then I may add some like, doors to, to add a little more depth to these guys, but so far I think the town area is looking pretty decent. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that center there, which shouldn't be an issue. I'll probably create some sort of like garden of some sort. But now that I've got the door set up, and, or my door set up over here, and I know how to do the, that, that's gonna be perfect. Let's take a look at what I've, what I've got in my garden here. So it looks like my carrot farmer here has been hard at work. He's planted a ton of carrots here, and of course with the planting, a few other seeds will get mixed in with the others, and next thing you know, you've got sunflowers and corn and pizza. <laughs> so we have pizza growing from the ground, as well as sunflowers, and corn, and weeds. That's pretty funny. And so yeah, you go around, you attack all the different plants here, and, and they'll, uh, if they're vegetables, harvest them. Ooh, what? If uh, their weeds will just disappear, which is perfect for helping out maintain the garden while well, you got one guy who's building, one guy who's watering, and the these daisies over here. Once you smash them, they'll give you coins or your blue shards that you can use to purchase other cool toys and. And everything. And one of the reasons why I love gardening with Maleficent. Oh wait. Wrong one. Um is her attack. Insta harvest. <laughs> Collecting all the items that dropped. I've got a ton of carrots and I've got a ton of uh, sunflower seeds. So there's a whole lot of farming. Now each different each different uh, food item will grant different stats, uh, stat upgrades, upgrades to different uh, characters here. So carrots and carrots upgrade luck. I believe the pizza does the same thing. It'll increase their luck. Um, the sunflower seeds will increase their ability to use tools such as the uh, the hoe and the watering can. Tomatoes increase their strength. I can't remember what. The lettuce or the corn increases it. And then I think the lettuce increases their speed. One thing I do enjoy about, you know, the gardening aspects, if I'm doing like that mega ultra powered move at the very end where she takes out like a giant area, um, it doesn't affect the crops that haven't finished growing yet, such as these tomatoes.
I'm saying like that, where I had a whole bunch of other vegetables in the area, it, it didn't affect them at all, which is awesome. All right. So I think that's all I'm going to do for right now on camera. I will finish up some other areas and and then I'll do a little bit more later. Um, doing some live streaming with that. Um, so I think I'm going to perch right here. And, and I'll continue working on the towns and I'll figure out how to make actual working shops. And then hopefully I can actually turn this into an RPG area where I'll have different people setting up quests so you can go and complete different things and the more things you the more quests you do the more you'll be able to to get money to come over here and do some shopping. So that's kind of the plan that I have set up for right now. Um, but that's I've still got a long ways to go to figuring out how in heck I'm going to set up the storefront. Because I know that there's a way of doing it. I know there's a way of using different tools and toys to, to make each character have their own little inventory of what they can sell and whatnot. Um, so yeah, it, it, should be, it should be fun to learn and figure out. And, and a lot of fun to, to get that going. Alrighty, so thank you all for who watched. I know there there was quite a few of you here in in the broadcasting um, earlier ago until it got really boring with me doing the same thing over and over again. My apologies about that. Unfortunately, I I don't have any editing software or anything like like that. So I you now if this was like a YouTube video, I would be able to sw uh, at least extend it or fast forward or do a um, a montage or something to quickly go through all of the the process of how I did it. Um, I'm going to actually make that Nice Landers hotel be an actual functional hotel. Um, so that's going to be an interesting thing to a project for me to do. Um, but I've got my work cut out for this this little toy box here. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, eventually I'll probably have it uploaded to Disney um, so that those of you who have Disney Infinity will be able to play it as well. So. I've got a lot in store, a lot planned. It's it's going to be going to be a lot of fun, a lot of work, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you some other time.